you wowie. At the start of 2024, the all-time classical animated short, Steamboat Willie, has officially entered the public domain after being trapped in the confounds of copyright for 95 years. What this means is that Disney no longer has the rights to this short and the public can use it in any way they so desire, such as me choosing to use it as background footage for this video. Why this is a big deal is because this short was subjected to a lot of controversy regarding copyright extension laws. Steamboat Willie was originally going to enter the public domain in 1955, at which point it was renewed to 1986, then extended to 2003 by the Copyright Act of 1976, and finally to 2023 by the Copyright Term Extension Act of 1998 also known pejoratively as the Mickey Mouse Protection Act. It has been claimed that these extensions were a response by Congress to extensive lobbying by the Walt Disney Company. And it's pretty ironic given that some of Disney's most iconic animated movies were based on stories that entered the public domain. Congress decided to stop extending copyright for two reasons. Republicans didn't want to extend the copyright because of Disney's quote-unquote political and sexual agenda, such as their opposition to Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill and Disney's work with China, which included filming parts of the movie Mulan in Xinjiang province. Democrats didn't want to extend the copyright because they think copyright extension laws connect civil rights issues with business issues. While Mickey Mouse, his significant other, Minnie Mouse, and his rival Pete, along with Steamboat Willie and some other classic shorts are officially in the public domain, there are some limits for how it can be used. For starters, you can only use the original versions of Mickey and Minnie Mouse from 1928 without copyrighted elements of later iterations, meaning you can only use Mickey and Minnie as they appeared in Steamboat Willie and Plain Crazy. Even though these characters also appear in later, still copyrighted works. Under copyright law, Disney only owns the newly added material in subsequent works, not underlying material from 1928, that content remains freely available. The later versions of Mickey, like his sorcerer's outfit from Fantasia, are still copyrighted. And just an FYI, neither of those versions have Mickey wearing gloves, so be sure to steer clear of the gloves. Also, you cannot confuse consumers into thinking that your creation is produced or sponsored by Disney as a matter of trademark law. One way to help ensure that your audience is not confused is to make the actual source of your work, you or your company, clear on the title screen or cover, along with a prominent disclaimer indicating that your work was not produced, endorsed, licensed, or approved by Disney. The plot thickens when you add Disney's trademark rights to the picture. Many sources claim that even though Mickey is copyright free in 2024, you still cannot use the character because he's trademarked by Disney. But this is not what the law actually says. Trademark law only prohibits the use of a trademarked character if doing so is likely to cause confusion or to cause mistake or to deceive consumers about the source or sponsorship of the new product. But don't you worry, trademark law does not prevent you from using the 1928 Mickey Mouse unless consumers will be misled into thinking your work is produced or sponsored by Disney. Since Mickey entered the public domain, many artists across the internet hopped on the bandwagon of having the character do very radical things. Some even made dubstep remixes of music from the short. <laughs> As for bigger productions, there are plans to release a horror movie which stars Mickey. A poster and teaser trailer were revealed for Mickey's Mousetrap, a horror film in which a masked killer dressed as Mickey Mouse attacks a group of young people in an arcade.
The movie is planned to have a March release. Funny enough, this isn't the first time a horror film was made starring a public domain character, as there was Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, for when Old Pooh Bear entered the public domain back in 2022. On the topic of horror, video game developer Nightmare Forge revealed the trailer for Infestation 88, a horror game that sees a haunted-looking Steamboat Willie Mickey hunt down the player in a dark warehouse. I thought it was just rodents, but there's something else in here. There's also another video game, this time in the form of a first-person shooter called Mouse, in which you play a Steamboat Willie-like gangster mouse causing bloody havoc. I have a feeling this isn't over yet. In conclusion, Steamboat Willie was an iconic cartoon that set the standard for animation going forward, and it's nice to witness a monument of media history finally enter the public domain. Even if you saw the short and didn't think it was all that great, I should remind you that the people who first watched this short at Universal's Colony Theater in New York City back in 1928 thought it was the funniest thing they ever saw. An old article from Variety had this to say about Steamboat Willie when it first released. Giggles came so fast at the Colony Theater, they were stumbling over each other. It's a peach of synchronization job all the way, bright, snappy, and fit the situation perfectly. Keep in mind that what was considered humorous was different back then, and animation has evolved so much in the years following it that we don't see Steamboat Willie as funny as some of the other iconic cartoons that came long after it. But thanks to the public domain, it's possible to have this iconic short be remixed in a way that it can come off as humorous to today's audience. Oh my god, no way, yeah, yeah. On top of that, we can also look forward to having a lot of other classic cartoon characters and media enter the public domain in the coming years. Such as Popeye in 2025, Mickey's canine companion Pluto in 2026, Universal's Dracula and Frankenstein in 2027, King Kong in 2029, Mickey's pal Donald Duck in 2030, Donald's Warner Brothers rival Daffy Duck in 2033, and even superheroes like Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman in 2034, 2035, and 2037, respectively. And by 2049, all classic Mickey Mouse shorts will be in the public domain. But at the end of the day, I'm glad that copyright is no longer expanding. So, what do you think? Do you think 95 years is too long for copyright of intellectual property? What other works slash fictional characters are you looking forward to seeing enter the public domain? What kind of Mickey Mouse creations do you think we'll end up getting in the future? Feel free to leave your takes in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.